Welcome to ITK Bar Camp. Today we are going to continue our introduction to the use of the command line prompt. And today we are going to focus on the concept of streams and pipes. We are going to do this in an Ubuntu Linux distribution, uh, but what we are going to see is very similar in most of the other Linux distribution, uh, distributions and also in the terminals that you can use on a Macintosh computer. Let's start by clearing the screen. And uh, let's start with the echo command that we have used in uh, previous tutorials. So uh, let's do hello world. So the echo command is going to print whatever you put in front of it uh, on the screen. And the way this is done is that there is the concept of the output stream and the input stream. So a command can generate a flow of characters. In this particular case, the flow of characters that gets uh, is uh, produced as output from the echo command is this sequence of hello world characters. And uh, if you think in terms of um, producers of characters and consumers of characters, you can put commands together. So a very common thing to do will be to take this command and redirect the flow of characters to a file. Let's call this file number five. And now we can see the content of file number five by using the cat command. Now cat is a command that will take input from a file and will um, source in that input and then redirect it to the output stream. By default, the output streams goes to the console or, or the terminal and you happen to just see it directly there. Similar things could be done with uh, many other commands. So if I take, for example, the date command, I can take the output of date and redirect it into a file number six. Then I can look at the content of file number six and see that is, you know, what was um, produced before by the date command. Now, um, variations of these particular commands are um, typically useful. So you have the cat command, you can use the tag command that is the revert of cat and what it does is to print this file in the reverse order. Now in this case because it's a single line uh, file is not a really interesting example so <coughs> let's do the following. We can add to a particular file by, by instead of using the single re redirection symbol we can use the concatenation symbol. So uh, this double larger than symbol is going to um, append at the end of the file the content of the current command. So we're going to take this file 6 and add a date. We do cat on this. Now we have two dates on it. And if we do it again, now we have three dates. And we do it again a couple of times. And now we have these uh, six dates into it. All right, so now we have more content and we can actually see the effect of the tag command on this particular file put them side by side and oops. Uh, you're going to see that the, the effect is that they are reverted. So the first line in this particular case is the last line in the previous case. That's what the tag command is doing. Um, it, this is uh, a very fundamental principle on the way that the Linux system uh, has been designed and implemented and the idea is that you uh, you are offered a large collection of tools that are very focused in a scope. They, they do something, they do mostly that, they are really focused on doing that and they do it very well. Uh, instead of attempting to solve all the problems that you're going to have to solve in the console. So for example, the, the cat command is really focused on just uh, showing you the content of file and the tag command just to the reverse. You could imagine that one could have added um, the behavior of tag as an option for cat. And in some cases, uh, that's done in some of, some of the commands, but in general, uh, it's more powerful to have um, a large collection of small commands that do one and a single thing very well. Another variation of the tag or, or the cat command, both of them actually, is the ref command. What this is going to do is to revert, but this time it's not reverting the lines, but the characters inside of the lines. So what you see here is that this line is the reverse of this particular line. When that will be useful is up to you to, to decide. Whenever you're interacting with data that is coming out of a particular file, you may find that this uh, may come handy. And instead of having to write code for doing this particular very simple operation, you can just reach out and use the command. Um, 
notice that we can pipe this thing so uh, for example I can take the reverse and I can also do um, pass it again to, to rev and what we are going to do is the null operation so uh, we are taking the output of the red command passing it through a pipe this pipe is connecting the output of this command as the input of the following command and what we are doing in this case is just reverting twice so we get exactly the the same as we have at the beginning um, we could do something more interesting by, by for example using the sort command so there are multiple ways of doing this um, if you look at the content of the file 6 we could have sorted this content by calling the sort command on file 6 uh, what sort is going to take as input the content of this file and is going to send the output to the console by default we can change that behavior and send the output to a file number 7 and then look at this file number 7 and we can also use piping so we could have done instead of passing um, the input of file 6 to sort we could have used cat file 6 that is going to take the content of file 6 and send it to the output stream we can pipe that to the sort command and then we can have send that to file number 7 uh, in this case let's use file number 8 or we could continue piping other operations we could then revert that output and put that in file number 9 and then let's compare what we have with file number 8 versus what we have with file number 9 So um, this way of combining commands in the command line is very, very powerful. It allows you to um, combine basic operations in order to achieve more complex results. And by putting together the right commands with the right options, um, you can perform very complex operations without having to write code uh, for it, just relying on the basic uh, things that the system is offering to you. There is yet another um, interesting option in the command line that allows you to, uh, instead of doing this kind of construction, so uh, taking the input from this file, passing it through sort, and then producing the output there, you can, you can express it as this. So this actually means take the input of this file, pass it to sort, and then the output put it in uh, file number here 10 and it's a very similar effect it depends on what command you're using some commands assume that the, the first argument is going to be an input from a file some others actually expect that you specify that um, the input stream is going to be taken from somewhere else um, so in this case the sort command can be used uh, in either way okay so this is our introduction to streams and pipes, and that concludes our session for today. Thank you for listening.